नमस्कार एंड वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ एडिटोरियल बिफोर वॉचिंग दिस एडिटोरियल आई विल रिकमेंड दैट यू स्पेंड टेन मिनिट्स एंड वॉच अ स्मॉल स्टोरी आई हैव आई हैव मेड अबाउट मिस्टर शरद चंद्र पवार हिज ग्रोथ हिज आइडियाज हिज थॉट्स एंड हिज माइंड वॉच दैट दैट क्लब विद हिज एडिटोरियल विल गिव यू मोर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ वॉट आई एम ट्राइंग टू से ओके सो a lot of things maharashtra is getting complicated day by day and uh, let's try and figure out what is this complication and let's comprehend as to what all happened in maharashtra let's get right into the show now the story starts when csds survey says that 48% of vote share may go to mba and if 48% vote share goes to mba a lot of people say possibly 20 to 22 seats in lok sabha could go to the mba maharashtra vikas agadi and 22 seats minus from the nda could put bjp in a lot of trouble in the center this was the beginning of the panic now i am not saying they are purely going by csds survey i am sure they have their own surveys too so but this is the panic let us start with that 22 seats going out of maharashtra how can they stop it now the only person who can make a huge political difference in maharashtra is this gentleman called sharad chandra pawar so everything came to his doorstep now let us start by the prime minister saying that listen you know what 70000 crores of corruption by ncp corruption meter what is that called gotala meter he said say ncp behind scams worth 70000 crores gotala meter or something he said so it was uh, some people say it's perceived as a threat but end of the day bharatiya janata party realized that with eknath shinde and the current government it will only lose votes but will not gain votes 42 which they got 41 plus 1 independent 42 was they got in 2019 out of 48 seats in maharashtra was next to impossible they realized it they say any one of them somewhere down the line ekna shinde got them the assembly got them the assembly seat got them the got got them the chief ministership of maharashtra got them control over maharashtra but it is not going to get them any uh, good in the lok sabha election that is where this entire plan entire gamut of trying to ensure that they do the same what they did in 2019 started for bharatiya janata party and people say it started a year back almost at the same time when uh, ekna shinde formation was happening now uh, the thing is like i told you the only option they had was to go back was to approach sharad pawar you like it or not he is the only man who can make a difference in maharashtra and i think mr sharad pawar was approached now people say that okay sharad pawar is still with uh, op- opposition uh, united and uh, ajit pawar split because ajit pawar wanted to go to uh, government uh, i mean the form the government and uh, you know he wanted to be part of the government uh, there was a lot of edit cases against him and his people and uh, they wanted to get out of all that and they wanted to clean themselves and get into the government also the fact that you know ajit pawar says that you know i wanted to be in power so that i can help my people and all that okay all that we know so let's not talk about it but the fact remains that ncp split and split beautifully it split as if it was made to split it split 36 uh, 32 yesterday 33 today uh, mlas are with uh, ncp uh, sh- uh, that is uh, ajit pawar 18 mlas 17 today are with uh, sharad pawar and sharad pawar is slowly eroding and if i can see it right it will erode by the next two months all the 18 maybe at least 7 16 of the 18 will go to ajit pawar now ajit pawar needs 36 mlas to stay to circumvent the anti defection ajit pawar needs 36 mlas to ensure that he can claim for his symbol and name so this is where it is happening sharad pawar is still intact with mva and with Uh, opposition united as he says theek hai now let us go step 2 so you now for bharatiya janata party now has a very uh, is in a very good position why because 
according to bharatiya janata party at least the way they think that their biggest competition was never uh, uh, shiva sena or or not even congress that much their biggest competition was was sharad chandra pawar anybody's biggest competition in maharashtra is sharad chandra pawar now sharad chandra pawar's party is with them so at least they won't have to compete sharad chandra pawar's party so to with sharad chandra pawar's party and a little bit of uh, shinde's whatever 5.5% vote of uh, uh, ekna shinde and their own vote which is uh, estimated to be 38.8% they have a fairly good chance of maybe not uh, getting 42 as they got last time but coming close to that theek hai something better it is not that they are going to keep quiet at this they are going to go after uh, congress also now they are going to try and break congress also now so that will happen we'll wait and watch just wait and watch it will happen so here is where it stands so this is the Bhar the bharatiya janata party part of it now there is a problem that has happened and this problem is something that i am telling you first time in this channel i have realized from a lot of sources on ground in maharashtra that a lot of ncp local leaders jilla parishad level leaders village level leaders they are not very happy for it they are not very happy with this tie up what they are saying is from gen for generations we have been fighting against rss and bharatiya janata party and you are now asking us to go and mend ways with them there is a lot of hit back from uh, uh, from from the from the ground lot of people are 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 pushing back this idea now you will ask me when they tied up with uh, bharatiya with shivasena why didn't this happen because shivasena also was a part of the right wing and uh, or or part of uh, the bharatiya janata party shivasena yuti why, why didn't it happen there see the reason why didn't it happen there is because there was still a lot of free flow between shivasena and ncp at some point in time and also the fact that shivasena was not very prominent in the places where ncp was prominent western maharashtra shivasena do exist but uh, not as much as bharatiya janata party bharatiya janata party in rss are seen as absolute opposition as far as on ground maharashtra is concerned for ncp workers all these ncp workers mind you were once upon a time uh, congress workers that's precisely why i thought you should see the earlier uh, story that i have i've done on sharad pawar all these people were congress workers the point that i am trying to make is that there is a strong pushback that is happening on ground and i tell you this this is the first channel that is that is telling you the story and i am telling you with this certain i am telling you this with certain responsibility and understanding of what is happening on ground theek hai let's go further now as on now ncp has tied up with uh, bharatiya janata party bharatiya janata party is desperate enough i am told by senior leaders to give the chief ministership away to ajit pawar now you will ask me are they gave the chief minister to ekna shinde too yes they gave the chief, chief minister to ekna shinde but people who knows ajit pawar who knows maharashtra politics will tell you that ajit pawar and ekna shinde are two different uh, two different uh, characters ajit pawar is a very headstrong character ajit pawar is not somebody who will who can be who can be rolled over i am not saying therefore ekna shinde can be but the fact is ajit pawar is very very headstrong ajit pawar is sharad pawar's nephew and i still tell you i don't think ajit pawar is functioning in isolation so every step ajit pawar is going to make sitting in that chief minister's uh, uh, seat will be for the benefit of ncp it may not necessarily be for the benefit of uh, for uh, bharatiya janata party and having a chief minister like ajit pawar especially during the elections in 2024 during the lok sabha elections in 2024 it's a huge compromise that bharatiya janata party is doing it's a huge compromise because any day bharatiya janata party would want to have their chief minister sitting in that uh, post their man sitting in there as a chief minister other than having especially ajit pawar and an ncp head sitting in the as chief minister so this is the this is what uh, has been offered is this is what they say will happen and uh, if you remember uh, mr prithviraj chavan had said that in our channel day before yesterday yesterday uh, 
Ajit Pawar made announcement directly saying that yes, I want to be the Chief Minister of Maharashtra. So it is now more or less clear that Ajit Pawar may be uh, the next Chief Minister of Maharashtra. Now, <laughs> there are a couple of other things. Now, what happens to Shinde and his whatever 33 odd MLAs? Are they going to get a plum position? What is going to happen to Shinde? Now, according to the Supreme Court, who had given reasonable time, so it is about 90 days, 90 days ends on the 10th of August, the Speaker will have to take a call on Ekna Shinde and the 16 MLAs. 16 MLAs including Ekna Shinde, that is what I meant. The chances are the Speaker will disqualify them. That is the law of the land. Unless and until there was some other pressures on the Speaker, then the law of the land can easily be changed. We have seen that. But <laughs> if, if they practice the law of the land, then the, the, the 16 MLAs including uh, Ekna Shinde has to be disqualified. Which means Ekna Shinde is anyway out of the picture. So then things are very clear for Mr. Ajay, uh, Ajit Pawar and uh, BJP to run the show. So that is where Ekna Shinde's fate stands. Now there are rumours that Ekna Shinde will be given a post in the centre. But whatever is given to Ekna Shinde, whatever is given to Ekna Shinde, in my mind, it will not be a permanent thing. It will never be permanent. Because it will just be for the time being and just to tide over this problem. Once the problem is tied over, I think that will be Ekna Shinde will not be playing any prominent role in the Bharatiya Janata Party and ally NCP or whichever ally politics. That's point number one. This is as far as Ekna Shinde is concerned. Now let's talk about Ajit Pawar. Ajit Pawar gets two, three things done. First of all, I don't think all his uh, uh, offenses and all his cases and all will be washed away and all that. Wo sab nahi hoga. They will be kept they will be kept in, in the, the freezer at the moment. It will be kept for posterity. At some point, when they want to, they will, they, will, they will raise it. It will not be finished. That is not going to happen. Let me tell you this in this channel. It will be kept in the deep freezer. But what Ajit Pawar will get is he will get the opportunity to rule the state. He will be the chief minister. What Ajit Pawar will get is... Uh, he will have his people in the center too. Uh, so he will get one uh, position, one or two positions in the center. That is his people will get one or two positions in the center. So Ajit Pawar will be very well settled in the saddle as far as NCP is concerned. And I believe, I strongly believe that Ajit Pawar has all the blessings from Sri Sharad Pawar. That is where that stands. And I believe, these are all my belief. I have nothing to prove. I believe that uh, Supriya Sule if not today, in a few months, we'll join Ajit Pawar. So that's where Ajit Pawar stands. Let's take that aside. Now let us talk about Devendra Fadnavis, Bharatiya Janata Party. Now Devendra Fadnavis's role is going to be very, very important and determinate to decide whether is Devendra Fadnavis still in the same position that he was in, the, in 2014, 2015, 2016 or has things gone bad for him? Has things gone south for him? Let's talk Devendra Fadnavis. Devendra Fadnavis, they say, could go to the center. Some say Devendra Fadnavis could be made the president of uh, Bharatiya Janata Party. Because Mr. Nadda's uh, karyakal, Mr. Nadda's tenure is coming to an end. Some say he will be made a union minister. Some say he will remain as a deputy CM. Some say he may be elevated to the chief minister. To be very honest with you, I too thought that he will be elevated to the chief minister in some time. But uh, because like I told you, 2024, BJP would want their person to be the chief minister of Maharashtra. But then, now as things stand and as people say, if uh, Ajit Pawar is made the, the deputy, uh, Ajit Pawar is made the chief minister of Maharashtra, then Devendra Fadnav is going to the center. If it is not a very plump portfolio, if it is not a very significant portfolio, then it will be a demotion for Devendra Fadnavis. One more demotion for Devendra Fadnavis. Devendra Fadnavis was coming up as a very strong Bharatiya Janata Party leader in Maharashtra. Stronger than Gadkari, stronger than any other leader that Maharashtra saw in Bharatiya Janata Party. Now sending him to center right now 
may not be the best thing for him unless and until again I'm telling you some fabulous portfolio he's given home which he will not be if he is given finance which he could if he is given uh, defense which I don't think he will be so if he's given something of that sort then it's a different issue otherwise then it is a demotion for him so what happens to Devendra Fadnavis next is going to be very significant to understand what is the position of Devendra Fadnavis in the Bharatiya Janata Party larger picture Okay, let's keep that aside now. Now let us go to what could happen and what is happening. What is Bharatiya Janata Party thinking? Bharatiya Janata Party th is thinking what I just told you that listen, now with uh, with uh, uh, NCP in their fold, now with uh, part of Shiv Sena, whatever small part of Shiv Sena in their fold, they have a larger picture, they have a better clout in Maharashtra and their percentage from 33.8% can go up. Mahavikas Akadi was 48%. So them and uh, Shivasena put together would come to something like 38%. So Mahavikas Akadi was actually doing better than them. So now that Ganit will change. That math will change. That's what they can expect. And slowly of course, like I told you, they will also try to break uh, uh, Congress and Congress will break also. Congress could break also. There is no guarantee that Congress will not. Congress could break possibly easier than uh, NCP. So let us wait and watch. So that's what they are So they are consolidating their position. Now let us think what if things go south for them. Just hypothetically. I will tell you what happens if things go south for them. Save for a minute. Save for a minute. If the MLAs go back to Sharad Pawar. If the MLAs go back to Sharad Pawar and if because uh, Shinde is sidelined and Shinde knows that he is sidelined and it is a fact that Shinde and his group are absolutely not happy with this induction. If Shinde decides to walk out of BJP and if Sharad Pawar actually pulls back those MLAs which means that uh, you know if it is come down to anything below 36 then things could be very very bad for Bharatiya Janata Party. A bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. So that could happen here. He would, They would lose Ekna Shinde and even the NCP fold may wind up. If that happens. Chances are it won't happen. Because if it would have happened, I'm sure Bharatiya Janata Party must have thought through very, very, uh, very, very, in, very uh, in depth this time. Because, uh, you know, once bitten, twice shy, another proverb. You know, once bitten, twice shy. 2019, they will remember. So, but this could happen. This could also happen. If, if again, like I said, if Sharad Pawar really wants, if Sharad Pawar joins back uh, Congress, Congress will be rejuvenated, phenomenally rejuvenated. Okay, because Congress again in Maharashtra has no leaders. Absolutely no leaders in Maharashtra. Somebody like Sharad Pawar walking into Congress at this point in time, especially Congress Maharashtra will be completely rejuvenated. And if Congress Maharashtra gets rejuvenated, then when Congress, the Mahavikas Agadhi, which I, till, I still think is intact, whatever is left of Mahavikas Agadhi is intact. If that Mahavikas Agadhi then goes for, for, for polls, and you have two people playing the victim card, that is Uddhav Thakre playing the victim card and Sharad Pawar playing the victim card, Sh Maharashtra may move towards Mahavikas Agadi. No matter who goes where, Maharashtra may move towards Mahavikas Agadi. These two leaders can make a huge difference. This also is possible. But all this, like I said, and I prove my point, all this, like I said, is completely based on what? Sharad Pawar wants and that is why I started my program by saying that ultimately Sharad Pawar will decide what is the next future of Maharashtra at least the political future of Maharashtra at least as on today it is Sharad Pawar who is going to decide and very soon we will know where Sharad Pawar stands so broadly broadly this is the sum and substance of what is happening in uh, in uh, in uh, Maharashtra, as on today, like I told you, 32 MLAs are with uh, Ajit Pawar. Uh, 17, uh, 33 MLAs currently. Today, somebody went to Ajit. Somebody went uh, to Ajit Pawar camp. 33 MLAs are with Ajit Pawar. Uh, 17 with Sharad Pawar, and uh, Ajit Pawar needs 36 to uh, circumvent the anti-defection 
in Maharashtra. That's where it stands. Ajit Pawar is still the deputy CM. Let us see when he will be made to the chief minister. And yeah, that's what Maharashtra politics is. We'll keep in touch. Till I see you next time. Namaskar.